Pumpkins, cornfield mazes, and changing leaves are all signs that fall is here, which also means it's harvest season. Yeah, and local vineyards are hard at work, especially now with a new setback. Meteorologist JC Brianne has more. It's a busy time of year for local vineyards, but how fast things move along is determined by the weather. Well, first of all, um, I think most people know by now that growing grapes in the Shawnee Hills is a challenge. And uh, one of our biggest challenges is the weather. And it's not the weather uh, challenges really start, they're all year long. Karen Hand, head winemaker at Blue Sky Vineyard, says being at the mercy of Mother Nature is a part of the business. It's, it's really, really complex, and a lot of times you just have to make a decision. Um, and, uh, you know, everyone thinks making wine is romantic. Well, they can come out for about a month and that romance would go away. But um, a lot of times you just have to make a decision. While many of us were enjoying our first taste of cool temperatures in September, Marketing director Brandy Nance says they caused a delay in harvest. Really what we look for to make the, the perfect grape and, and perfect for harvest season is warm days and cooler nights. That way the grapes can really ripen during the day, kind of get a break at night, and then we get some really nice temperatures um, to, to get those grapes ripened and ready for harvest. Hand says it's not just the temperatures, but the rain that impacts the grapes. We're a little bit... um worried about the fact that it rained because what will happen is the grapes will actually uh, as absorb some of the water and then that will um, possibly dilute the flavors we were looking for. Despite harvest setbacks, Nance says it typically all works out in the end. Grapes are certainly challenged here with all the weather issues that we had, but they really produce uh, some really nice flavors uh, coming out of the vineyard for our, our winemakers to, to deal with and turn into some fantastic wines. In Macanda, meteorologist J.C. Brienne, News 3. Winemakers hope to start their harvest of Shamborkin by the end of the week. They hope to start other red varieties next week.